So I grew up with science at home and engineering at home. And uh, you know, my dad was a physician and we, he was a true uh, physician with the office in the house. He made house calls and we had a laboratory. That was the key. When I was uh, in elementary school, I built a heart lung machine. And maybe that was early uh, evidence that I would ultimately go on to be a cardiologist. Well, the Da Vinci Award is really a perfect award for Marv because it, he is the same kind of person that I think Leonardo da Vinci was, somebody who's creative, that takes, takes things to fruition, to, that actually accomplishes a great deal and uh, is an inspiration for many people. What sets Marv apart is that he not only understands the scientific and the medical problems, but he also understands how to bring devices to market, the market pressures, the regulatory processes, and he's actually taken things all the way from concept to product. I think what's unique about him is that he really enjoys mentoring students. He, the more the merrier in his eyes, so he really likes to bring in students especially young students that are eager to learn and so I think he's really great at doing that and including people in the lab. I think Dr. Slepian is particularly deserving of this award because of how he, how he approaches problems. He can take a large overwhelming project and pick one particular thing that we can use to make a difference in. He can also take one small thing that seems very particular science and see, see the bigger vision behind it and then inspire other people with that vision. He's able to uh, obtain inspiration from one project and, and apply it to a different project. Something like Da Vinci used to be. Uh, he had multiple projects, he was an artist, he was a painter, he invented, and that's something that I see in him, that he uh, just doesn't get stuck in one place. If he can see a, a, a solution in one approach, he looks for inspiration in something different, something completely different. I think the thing that sets Dr. Slepian apart the most from a lot of the other faculty is that he is well versed in every aspect that medicine presents. He's a physician, he's a researcher, he's a soon to be lawyer, and he's a teacher. So he really has so many ways to relate with his peers and the students that he works with. When you want to change the world, as Gandhi says, be a change you want to see in the world. That's what Dr. Slepian does. I was ecstatic to hear uh, that I was named as a Da Vinci Fellow. You know, we're all human. So it's nice to hear that you've been recognized for your contribution and for work that you've been doing for many, many years. While we live to ultimately make contributions, it's nice to have a little bit of a recognition along the way that you're doing the right thing, you're doing a good job. He's really been a great role model for all of us. He is a beacon at the University of Arizona that stands out. He is by far a great person to work with and a researcher, teacher, and a mentor. He never says that it is impossible or like, oh, this idea is not realistic enough to be brought into real life. So that's how encouraged he, he encourages us to be. You know, there is nothing impossible. It's only less probable. <laughs>